Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a video practice exam for you future CSENs and CCNAs out there. And as you can see, we're already on the live equipment. And here's my question. We're getting a really unusual ping result here. We're used to getting five characters of the same kind. Uh, but that's not happening this time. I'm getting a U and then a dot and then a U and then a dot and then another U. What is the most likely reason that this is happening? Is it because the packets aren't leaving the router? Is it because the pinged IP address has no match in the routing table? Is it that a downstream router doesn't have an entry for that route? Or that the pings are being load balanced and this is the normal ping result when load balancing is in effect? What do you think? we got quite a few options there. We're going to find out in just a moment. A quick word here. I want you to head out to udemy.com slash u slash Chris Bryant when you're done here. I've got some free courses out there for you for the NA, CCNA Security, and CCNP, and some fantastic CCNA deals as well. My $44 video boot camp, over 2,600 students and counting. I'm also giving away a free DVD right now with that CCNA Security course, so you definitely want to be a part of that. So this is kind of a strange ping result u.u.u .u .u and or dot u three u's and two dots let's put it that way so let's go back to the question here and packets aren't leaving the router the pinged ip address has no match downstream router doesn't have an entry or the pings are being load balanced this is the first debug i would run in this situation especially a lab one lab environment because you want to be careful about using this one in a production environment because it puts out a lot of info debug ip packet and I'll repeat that ping, and I made the font a little larger here, so I know some of it's going to be off the screen. We'll just wait for all of it to go. Uh, and then I'll show you the pertinent information, or you can tell me what the pertinent information is. So we're seeing some packets going out. You know, we see sending, and then we see some things being received. So what we can do in this case, you know, troubleshooting isn't always just immediately saying, yes, here's what the situation is. It's also... Here's what the situation isn't. And what you could rule out in this case is that packets aren't leaving the router because we would actually see a message that said something along the lines of unroutable. When you see that, then you know the packets aren't even leaving the router because there's no match in the routing table. But in this situation, since the packets are actually leaving the interface, it's a safe bet that there is a match in the routing table. And we'll go ahead and just run show IP route. Like I said, I know the uh, font's a little larger than usual here, so some of it will be off of there. But there's a static entry 2222 via 172.12.123.1. So it's an exact match. So A and B are definitely out. So if the next top address is 172.12.123.1, which in this case happens to be router 1, Let's go to router 1 and check out the routing table. There is no match here for 2.2.2.2. And I didn't show you a topology on purpose because when you go into a lab environment, and especially when you go into a production environment, you may not have a topology. You may just have to sit down a router and figure out what's going on. You know, they're not always going to have a nice, neat network map there for you. Believe me, they're not always going to have a nice, neat map. So I would just sit there, you know, go right to that router, and first off, as long as it wasn't, you know, a major production time, I would run debug IP route, excuse me, debug IP packet to make sure the packets were even leaving in the first place. Well, we saw them leaving, so that let us eliminate a couple of things right away. So then just go to the next top router and check that routing table because it's really easy to forget this. It's one of the things I really wish someone had told me when I started studying for the NA. Yeah, it's not enough for the local router to have a route to that final destination. And we, we kind of forget that because we're concentrating on that local router. If the local router looks okay and everything, it's got a route for the destination, then start going to the next top IP address as shown in the routing table, which in this case was 172.12.123.1. So we went to router 1 and there was no match. So it's not enough for the local router to have an entry for that remote destination. Every router between the local and the remote destination has to have an entry for it as well. So the correct answer in this one would be C, a downstream router doesn't have an entry for that route because when you're load balancing, 
your ping should go through just as normally as if you were not load balancing. That is not going to affect your ping results. Thanks so much for taking today's video practice exam in the lab, and thanks for making TBA and Udemy part of your CCNA and CSENT success story.